Welcome back to another episode of Customized. We're joined here by Roy. Roy, thank you for coming through today. Cheers, Sean. Roy's coming to show us his awesome 79 series. Roy, tell us a bit about it. So this is a 2015 79 series Land Cruiser LX. Um, dual cab pickup. So the LX is the one that comes with the rear differential lock? Both. Both, front Both. and rear differential and lock. Rear. Uh, power windows, power the whole bank shoot, central yeah? central lock, uh, head, uh, head unit for the screen, everything that works. So, as always, um, we're going to run through the vehicle, and as the sun's busy setting, um, we've decided to start on the front side of this vehicle. So, Roy, tell us about this. This is a very interesting front end. Um, what bumper is this? This is very odd. This is actually the stock bumper, Sean. It's just been linexed. No way. So you've yeah. taken the stock bumper, Linex had given us this, this feel. Ah, I see. Yes, of course. It's the stock bumper. So you've got the daylights, yep. the standard. I see you've lost, you've lost the fog yeah, light. Yeah, that happened actually in Lewa. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, is that yeah. the same trip where you lost two tires as well? That was the same <laughs> trip, yes. <laughs> okay. And the winch, this is the standard winch that comes S with the Stock the winch. I just changed it to a synthetic rope and okay. obviously... The housing yeah the synthetic rope is so much easier to work with and it's safer just roll it up stick it in the car when you're going to doing a lot of recoveries no. right tell us about your light bar in the front here this is so i've tried a lot of lights and then i decided that um i got this baja design it's pretty pricey but i think light quality at night yeah. is um there's nothing to compromise on so a good so, investment i see it's the spreads it's got the spreads it's got the yellow so it's, it, mm. it just gives you especially in the dunes i find with the white light bar it yeah. kind of flattens the dune you don't see the the topography as much so this obviously this is then fantastic makes, the makes color temperature on the dunes with the flood with the yellow floods is absolutely you can see everything oh that's and this is just this is spot i, I would love to see this tonight so yeah. tonight we'll stick them on i'd love to have a look at that your antenna? Actually, no, this is not an antenna. This is actually a marker. Okay. Um, so this is a regular off-road flag. Yep. I cut it to actually feature, the height is actually the height of the awning. So it actually protects it against the basement parking. Yes. So it I actually gives me about a meter and a half before I've I- I've done exactly the same with mine. That's a smart idea. It's, uh, you know, ten dollars and it saves five thousand dollars with a tent Definitely. or or your roof rack or things like that okay very good feature. so everything else in the front is pretty standard i love the, this bumper this is such a good idea now i see you know moving towards the side so you've taken you've taken the linex here mm -hmm. and these are the stock fenders that they come the stock with fenders. the alex yes and you've taken the same flow throughout the entire side of the vehicle even, even the, the standard side steps. Even the standard side steps, the standard rims, and inside the wheel well. Of course. To protect because from there, nicks and scratches and rust. Yeah, I mean, it comes as just this normal bare steel. It looks yeah. absolutely horrible. So it's, it's given that rubberized effect. Yeah, that's pretty and good. And it stops all the scratching as well. That's one of the, also one of the best investments I've done. This Especially car. with all the, the, the sand on the roads over here and so on, your, your car gets trashed so quickly and it picks it up and it actually sprays it all along the side. Yeah. That's a really, really good idea. Now, Roy, this is, this is extremely odd. <laughs> you've got the stock tires. I mean, you, you've got a pretty well kitted vehicle over here. You've spent a lot of money making this look good and stock tires, why? Well, this is my daily drive. So I drive up and down Abu Dhabi, uh, maybe two, three times a week. Okay. And um, I just didn't want a noisy tire. But as soon as these uh, give out, yeah, I'm going for probably the BF Goodrich or the you Yokos. Cannot go wrong with the BFG. I, yeah, I'll I know, tell you that much. Uh, we've been traveling. You've been with my car over here. We've got Honey Badger without a, yes. with us today as well. He's done a whole lot of Africa. And it's a tough tire. We'll tell you both that. So yeah. I think I'll probably drive it for another four or five months and yeah. then on the, for the new season, I'll probably have a new set of tires. But I must say, I, I do like this, the, the rim being uh, Linex. Linex. Yeah. It, it, uh, I, I pied a coated mine, but this gives a brilliant effect. Yeah, I the, love the, the effect the, on the that. Matte, the matte rough finish really yeah. makes the car look good. Beefed up. Beefed up, yeah. All right, so let's <laughs> move on to the roof rack. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, I see, oh, Rhino rack. 
Rhino rack, yeah. Fantastic. And this is the this the is the roof? full yeah, it covers the full roof. Yes. The full roof. This is the Pioneer roof rack by Rhino Rack. Yep. Uh, it covers the full, you've got four two legs on either side, attach the Fox Wing awning. Yeah. To it. This is the 270 degree one, so it wraps around all the way over the bed. So you're covering the back, which is good because yeah. you don't you don't have a canopy. So no. you've got sitting over here right now your fridge or your cooler or anything that you've got in the back is exposed to the sun. And I usually sleep in the, when I'm alone, I sleep in the back. Sla sleep in the so bin as well. So it's good. Very nice. The rear end of the vehicle, mm -hmm. stock also, standard I see, you've just, uh, oh, no, it isn't stock standard because normally it comes with a plastic um, liner. So you've, once again, you've done the Linex inside. Same and I see you've gone with a color. Car. Okay, that's why I thought it was yeah. the plastic one because immediately it's the, it's the same color as this, the plastic inner. Um, I didn't want to do it black. I thought uh, color coding it with the car would actually look a lot better. And what did you do? So you you filled in all the gaps except for the tailgate mm -hmm. for the dust. Yeah. So and we just put up. I mean, you can see, but you can put a plate. Yeah. So you've. Um, there we go. So you put the checkered plate in over here, yeah. which gives you the extra table. Uh, this is my table, basically. That's really well done. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Where did you get this done? I got this done in uh, Ras Khor in Rashidia. Yeah, so you yeah. took it through, they drew the template, cut it up for you, Everything. And stuck it on. And the Linux, where did you get the Linux done? Linux, I did it at um, also in Rashidia in Ras Khor, yeah. um, a place called NR Motorsport. Okay. And he's the guy who actually gets uh, Linux in from oh, I see. Uh, outside. I think I will definitely be taking mine to mm. do the wheel wells because I love the way that the wheel wells look on that. So the rest of the the back of here, I mean, there's nothing really interesting except by now, I'm sure you viewers have seen a dive tank on the back of this pickup. And as far as I know, Roy doesn't really go underwater much. So what is this for, Roy? Explain this to me, please. So uh, I'm actually testing this out. This is a power tank. This is a 20 pound bot bottle. So this is just a standard diving tank. What, what's special about this is actually this part right here. Yeah. And this is a high flow valve. So you actually put compressed carbon dioxide inside. Okay. Okay. And the high flow valve actually fills your tires yeah. uh, in an insane amount of time. It's so fast. Whoa. And we will be testing it on your, uh, on your tires as well as mine. Yeah, I think uh, what we'd what we'd do, um, we are running out a bit of light, but perhaps tomorrow morning is let's let's deflate one of the tires and, and then we'll see how long it and takes let's see how long it. it takes to fill a tire from from bottom to top. And you can fill it in uh, in Emirates uh, Emirates gas in Alcoz. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, 45 dirhams per fill. Yeah. For the 20 pound bottle, That's 25 amazing. for the 10 pound bottle, but it's a good piece of kit. Now, where did you get this kit? I got this from uh, Green Auto Works, yeah. also in uh, Raslhor. Raslhor. Yeah. And uh, they did the mount for you, the whole bank chute, or it comes it as comes, it is. Yeah, it comes as it is. They just uh, bolted it onto my onto the onto the frame. Onto the vehicle. Now this yeah. is interesting as well. What is this for? This was one of my first uh, modifications. So what I wanted to do was actually put a, a radio antenna, okay. and I had the magnet. Yes. And it actually slots into here. Yes. Okay, so that it doesn't fall off when I'm dune bashing. Yeah. And this space over here was actually for uh, a light, a searchlight. Okay. With a remote control and it's magnetic, so it was uh, it's perfect. I don't oh, use them good. anymore, but it's, uh, it's a great uh, thing. I can put lights up there, um, yeah. anything I want. Now, good on the safety. other side of the roof rack, which we didn't discuss, I see you've got your spade. Yes. And what else do you have up there? So this is a standard spade from yeah. any shop. Uh, these are the poles for the Foxwind awning. Okay, so you've not so you've not kept it in here. Keep it nice and easy to close up because they are a mission. Yeah, they They're are great mission. when they come from the shop, and yeah. then once you take it out, you cannot get the poles back in. So good idea. That's that's a really good idea. Hundred percent true. And um, this is just an extra um, telescopic pole for okay. anything that I might I might need. Yeah, very good. Yeah, one last thing. Um, I see you've got the, the Weber Q. I mm -hmm. um, uh, see Ronnie Dole loves his Weber Q. I, yeah. think, uh, I think we're largely influenced by him and what he's cooking on his Weber Q. So yeah, yeah he's, he's got some great mods on his car. T tell us yeah. about what... what uh, so this is, uh, yeah, this is the Baby Q, the 1000 series uh, um, from Weber. And uh, it's just strapped down with uh, ratchet straps yes. to eye bolts onto the bed. 
Okay. And uh, I can go anywhere with and it. And then hook it up to a gas bottle and you're, and you're sorted. And where's your gas bottle? It's the little screw-in gas bottles? The little screw-in ones. It's in a uh, box yeah. over there. That's fantastic. Easy. Yeah. So one last thing. Mm -hmm. We didn't discuss the engine. Uh -huh. So, I mean, m most guys that are running the petrol version over here um, do a whole lot of mods to it. I know you haven't had this vehicle for too long. Have mm -hmm. you thought of it yet? I have thought of it. Um, the ITA is a bit of an issue for any modifications. So uh, it's still a four liter V6 stock engine. Yeah. yeah. Sounds no absolutely fantastic. You were going up the dune behind us over yeah. here and it, it just gives that raw grunt. Absolutely yeah. beautiful motor. It'll take me anywhere. It's a great car. Oh yes, of course. It's a good, brilliant and car. Fuel consumption on the stock standard petrol? What? It's fine. It's uh, no different than any car in its class. And, and you've still got the standard fuel yeah. tank. Um, it's a 130 litre 130. fuel tank. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the 130 litre yes. standard tank. What are you getting on a... So I get about 600 kilometres. Wow, that's not bad. On a, on a full tank. For the petrol. And then yeah. obviously when you're in the desert, it's... Obviously way when off. you're driving in four wheel low. Yes. It's even short, yeah. Yes, yes. So normally at this point in time, we would go and do the interior of the vehicle. There's really not much to see. It's a pretty stock interior. But uh, what is interesting is just behind the rear seat, uh, I've mounted a dual ARB compressor mounted yeah. on a bracket. And then the wires come out from here and then the Run. tank is actually between the chassis and the body. So it's nicely protected on a bracket. Yeah. And I've got four cigarette lighters in the back for anything I might use for charging batteries, Power. utilities, lights. Are you running a dual battery system yet? I am. And mm. which system are you running? I'm actually, I used to have a C-Tech, but that didn't work out too well. Yeah. So now I just have the kill switch. It's okay. either connected or it's not. Good. Nice and simple, doesn't break down. Yeah, Pretty good. good option. Well, Roy, right. thank you for showing us your awesome truck. Thank you, Sean, for we, having me. It'll be great to catch up with you in a couple of months' time to see how things have evolved. I know you're permanently looking for things. Uh, Roy is the kind of guy that, that he's the first on, on our forum to, to show where the specials are and he's permanently hunting for them. So I'm positive in the next couple of months when we review this truck, it's going to look It's going to look different, insane. definitely. Yeah. Insane. Trial and error, trial and error. Once again, Roy, thanks a lot. Thank you, Sean. Cheers, mate.